what is going on guys we're going on our first ride here uh first video actually but um kind of wanted to talk to you guys about you know the bike give you guys a whole little rundown um uh, come on you're not paying attention um yeah pretty much just go on for a little ride uh, around town here uh it's a really small town actually just in the location of where i ride but you know i feel like i can make it interesting you know so we'll see how this goes um i'll probably park up somewhere and then i'll give you guys a full little rundown of it um the whole bike itself right now obviously the 2023 sir on i'm on uh 9.7 kilowatts in eco mode and currently running 15 kilowatts in sport mode uh, i'm on the torp tc500 tri battery uh 72 volt 40 amp hour um it's a really good battery actually i'll show you guys everything that i have done to it it's pretty awesome um the power difference is crazy but I'll show you guys a little wheelies right here Man, this this torque controller is amazing I mean I've never tried any other controller but I just love the fact that you're able to adjust the throttle control I think that just makes it so much better and I'll give you guys a full little rundown of everything we'll hit some dirt trails up here as well um, hit some wheelies for now got a car behind us but they can go around So currently, um, I'm on 16, 19. Got the 16 inch in the rear, uh, 19 inch wheel in the front. Um, I technically don't really like riding the street setup. And um, well, I don't like riding the dirt setup on the on the street. You know, I'm trying to save my tires for this event that I got going on. But you guys, a little footer. bike is actually really dirty. I haven't cleaned it since the last time I ride it. Green lights, baby. All the way. Oh, and I'm also on stock brakes as well. So I actually ordered the Lewis Tech uh, I think it's the V4s. Man, I ordered them back in February. We're on we're in March of uh, we're in March of what? Um, March 25th, I believe. So, yeah, I'm still winning on those brakes. They haven't even sent me a shipping information or anything, so I can keep track of them. But um, yeah, I'm still winning on those. Running stock brakes with this much power, it's not really ideal. So you know. But this is pretty much the whole riding kind of starts up in here you're able to go up into those hills up there uh i'll take you guys up there it's actually a really short ride there's no jumps there's nothing over there uh the jumps are kind of actually back there it's more so mountain bike jumps but they're pretty nice kind of just shred through here a little bit i throw it up in sport mode oh yeah This thing just shreds, man. That back tire is so soft. Eats up, leaves a whole trail of dust. A little blind corner here. I usually like taking it easy right here just because there's horses, you know. Um, a house here, I'm not too sure. I've never seen the owner outside anyways, but you know, still try to be as respectful as possible. What's up, buddies? They're just looking at me ride. Super soft sand right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Getting a little sloppy. Absolutely no off-road. Off okay. Actually, I've never seen that sign before. First time I've seen it. A little lizard taking off. But, actually, there's bees. There's like a whole, um, like, bee, bee collection. I don't know what to call it, to be honest, but... Uh, Usually there's a bunch of bees here. Try not to ride over here, but just 
take you guys on for the ride. I also don't have a front fender, so all these rocks just kick up onto me. I need to throw that front fender on. I just, you know, just for street wise, I try not to put it on. It makes it a little bit more sleek, a little bit more undercover, but now I got the whole helmet on, so I usually don't rock this helmet either. I usually try to go with like the half dome helmet. Make it a little bit more sleek, but I'm riding the full dirt bike helmet on today. Um, so it kind of puts us out there a little bit more. Oh, look, there it is. There's a beach right there. If you can see that. Maybe I should pay attention. So, yeah, I mean, I've actually taken my Jeep up through this trail right here. There's a big giant hill right here. A little Jeep Wrangler climbs up this thing in four low like nothing. I really don't want to go down it. My leg is kind of messed up, but... Let's just go ahead and turn around. Wow, look. Spring bloom, huh? Looking nice. And that's like a whole minefield. It's a whole mine. I don't know what they mine exactly. Dirt, clay. I think it's clay. But it's kind of fenced off over there, so you can't really ride. Uh, the jumps are actually right behind this hill over there. There's a water tower up there. I can't... don't know if you guys could see it or not, but... That's that. Um, yeah, let me give you guys a quick look. The bike can't stand on itself, so, you know, that's how it stands. I need a bigger kickstand. Uh, currently running the 1619 uh, Woody Wheel Works. Um, really good wheels. Bottom used. Um, but, hey, they work. I can give you guys a whole rundown of the bike. Um, you know, stock forks. Got the prickly bars. Prickly stem. Um... The SS2 or the S2 uh, Baja designs, light. It's amazing at night. Um, let's see what else? Uh, warp nine pegs. Got the Amazon crash bar. Chai battery. I'm actually running this right now because it rattles in there way too much, so I don't like that. Um, yeah, like I said, it's really dirty. Got this extended fender. Not sure. I'm guessing that's the brand right there, but you know, never had it. Actually, bought this bike. I'll give you guys a whole spiel if you guys really want it. i uh, give you guys a full breakdown, but uh, Warp 9 uh, pegs, triangle, the V3 linkage in the back, still stock rear suspension. Um, other than that, it's got the lift on it. That's why it doesn't stand up straight. I think it's a 1.75 or the 1.5 lift on it, so that's why it's a little bit taller. doesn't sit right. But, hey, I mean, it's perfect for me. I'm about 5'11", 6 foot, basically. Um, so I could run the 16 inch in the rear perfectly fine. Um, it's really nice actually, but, uh, let me go ahead and take you guys up to the jumps right now. And then, uh, hit a little loops around the track right there. Actually, it took me a couple times to get used to it and actually clear the whole course. But, I, you know, never had the camera, never had anything to record. So, uh, now I can show you guys. And usually I'm always riding by myself, you know. The other day I actually found uh, a couple high school kids, you know. I'm 25, um, but a few high school kids riding around, you know. And just kind of weird, kind of weird, um, you know, riding with kids. But, hey, kind of the only people that are really into this. You won't really find anybody else. But, um, yeah. And then, uh, if anything, I'll just fast forward you guys there right now. Okay, so we're back to where we started, um, you know, trying to conserve a little bit of battery here. I only have one battery, so I'm not too sure what's left, but, um, yeah, the start of the other one is back there. Um, it's kind of a dead-end street. They're building all these brand new houses, man. Before all these houses were here, yeah, oh, man, you could be riding back here all throughout the ether. Nice jumps and everything, but, you know, this little town is expanding, and, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys um, on a later video. You know, I'll go up in the hill up there, and then you can kind of see, like, the whole city and everything. Um, Everything's pretty much been expanding, man. Um, like, all this wasn't here. You can see there's tire marks everywhere. People doing donuts. Um, I mean, what can you do for a dead end like this, you know? Nothing more exciting to do about it. People usually crash. There used to be a guardrail right here. Someone probably went straight forward and hit the whole guardrail, but now it's not here anymore. But this is the entrance to it right here. You actually go into somebody's backyard, which is kind of weird, but hey. There's actually two entrances into here, but um, this is the way I usually take. Easiest for me. I mean, not easiest. It's actually a little bit more challenging. Usually I try to ride with the long sleeve, get whacked by all these weeds. Shred up here. 
Oh, 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 at least we got pants on. Oh, oh. Actually, haven't ridden in about a week, so, you know, feels nice. All these big ruts up here. Big ruts and rocks. Oh, oh, damn, I thought that was a snake. It's an alligator lizard. But, yeah, that's where we were. That's where we were earlier, so, you know, we're on this side of the, the side of the hill. I mean, if you guys can hear me breathing, I apologize. I'm not too sure what this audio is going to sound like, you know. And then you bust a nice little left. See, that's another entrance right there, but, you know, we were closer to this side, so we'll just stick to here with what we know. Nice little jump right here that I like to hit. Go this way. Show you guys. I actually don't hit these, you know. I see a lot of videos on Instagram, you know, people aren't respectful to other mountain bike jumps and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not a big jumper myself. I mean, I'm trying. But the little track that I'm taking you guys to is like a little 50 track, so I still try to be respectful there as well, you know. But these mountain bike jumps here are ridiculously huge, you know. If, hey, if you can hit them, hit them. I'm not going to share the location of it, but. They actually had an event here maybe about a month ago. This is it right here. Big jumps. I mean, I don't know what you guys could see in the video, but, you know, respect the spot. Definitely what we're doing. And it extends out there, you know, little tiny jumps all the way through, but nothing of my caliber. Probably eat shit, man. I'll take you guys to my little track over here. Not mine, because, hey, never written. I didn't build them. I just ride them. That's another thing too. Hey. Let me give you guys a little perspective of what this other side looks like. Oh, there's no freaking snakes here. But here it is. Um, starting point. There's a big jump right there. Uh, there's a pole dropped off right here. I'm assuming you start here. I don't know, looks pretty cool, but pretty intimidating if you don't know what you're doing, so that's me. But, it's nice. Um, yeah, so this is usually where I come ride. Only spot close to me that has, you know, jumps and stuff. Enter up in here. Not the best jumper, like I said. Take it easy. Wow, this is overgrown. You know, see some tracks, but follow them. This track, this one was always the trickiest one for me. But I got that one down. Hit this little berm. That's the one I really want to clear right there. Tabletop back there. They actually extended it. Somebody came back here and a bobcat in. Was working on him. Please excuse me. Stop breathing. I start breathing kind of heavy. I'm a heavy guy, man. Oh, there you go. Got some air on this one. Ooh. I'm not used to this helmet. Throws off my mobility a little bit. Ooh. Bink. Bink. Right, let's see if we can get some more air off of this one. Ah. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can only do a few laps, man. Not built for this stuff. Uh. 
Ooh. Damn, there's a big bump right there. Oh, check me out. Damn. Let's see. Let's try to clear this one. Oh, no, same spot. Gotta commit to it. All right, we're done. Hands are burning. Uh, some horrible graffiti. If I've ever seen any good graffiti, man, that is horrible. Until some teenagers have been back here, but give you guys a little rundown over here. Ooh, that was a nice warm up. Been a while. Man, I really hope no freaking snake pops up, bites me. You would hear the rattle, right? A bunch of rattlesnakes out. That's the main road right here. Woo! Ciao, buddy. That's the main road right here. It takes you up to the freeway. Just riding along here. Ooh, ooh, big ruts. Ooh. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. They, they, they almost took out a jackrabbit. It's running through here just like these lizards are. Like, man, why, why can't you guys just take it and... It's like they want to get hit. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Back tires got loose grip. I don't trust anything coming out of there. Oh, these are really overgrown. That's that. We're back to where we started. Um, shred a little bit here. No, we're still in eco mode. No whole lot of battery balance. Love the way that we fix that. I mean, hopefully it's temporary and I can find something better. Oh, damn! Almost went over the bars there. Hands are burning. Hands are lit up. I want to take you guys up. So you guys can kind of see the city a little bit. Hopefully we can throw a little bit of air right in here. This is the other entrance right here. This is the one I was talking about. They just said there's a house here. It kind of makes it weird, you know. I don't know if that's their property. I doubt it. it doesn't say no private property signs or anything like that. But, yeah. Um, hit some dirt. Oh, I ended up crapping up. Drink some more water, man. We are back here. So believe it or not, my first bike was actually a Talaria XXX, or Triple X, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, dude, that bike was amazing. Obviously, had street tires, supermoto, so I learned how to wheelie on that bike. Looped it a couple times. Um, dude, the torque is honestly phenomenal. Like, um, way better than a Suron, 100%. Bottom response is way better. It just looks a little goofy, you know, but hey. I can deal with Goofy. Nice little Tesla truck there. Um, don't really see those too often around here. But I hit you guys with the Willy all the way up to. Sure, bump up to the knee. Let's do it. need to wash this bike. Should I throw it 12 o'clock? Ah, lost it. Yeah, well, like I said, look, they're still building them. They're still freshly new. Um, 
still finishing up. I think the, all those were model homes, but people are starting to live in there. These have been here. The road used to end right here. Look, more tire marks. But the road used to end right there, and you couldn't go further past that. It was nothing but dirt, so it was actually really nice. But yeah, let's see. This is how I try to conserve and save, save some tires. Stay out of the street. I do have a set of supermotos at home, um, but they have 220 uh, millimeter rotors on them, so I need to get the spacers for these. Uh, I'm still running, like I said, I'm still running stock brakes. I wanted to do the whole thing, you know, 220 mil with spacers. Um, but, you know, it's expensive, man. Parts for this whole bike are expensive. So it's nice, you know, I, I flipped up a couple bikes. I flipped a couple of these. Flipped as in not like crashing them, but flipped them as in, you know, bought them for a good price and sold them. And, uh, you know, I take parts off of bikes, put them on here, you know, try to save as much money as I can. You know, it's not, a, it's not cheap whatsoever. But, you know, try to make, try to make some money as well without spending any of my money. If that makes any sense, but take you guys through this um obviously no trespassing no illegal illigment whatever that means um does not say no motorized vehicles so um this is more of a hiking trail it goes all the way up there i don't know if you guys could see that but there's stairs you know i usually take it chill through here because there's always people walking you know walking their dogs stuff like that trail starts here ends on the other side but you know it's just cool going through here it's like a vibe man it's a vibe Oh damn, see, you see that? That was a snake. Oh shit. I don't know what kind of snake that was. Oh man. I, I, I personally don't like snakes. I don't like anything. Insects, snakes, reptiles, any of that stuff. Ooh, let's hit this. Nice. But yeah, man, I do not, I, I don't mess with that stuff. I hate it. Look, lizard. I, I'm, I wouldn't kill it. I respect all animals. You know, but... Don't get around me, don't get near me. I wanna take you guys up to the top of this. Do some more willies, buddy. A little jeeper right here, and a 2500 Duramax, you know. That's what I hope my house looks like one day. It's Memorial Day weekend, so you know, guys, people are getting their RVs ready, probably going out camping. You know, probably most people left yesterday, Friday, Saturday, today. Um, but, you know, the street's actually active. Everybody's outside and working, doing something. Well, that's cool. It's a badass Tacoma, another 4Runner. It's badass. I actually really want a 4Runner, but man, nowadays with these prices, man, they're expensive. Like, look, look at this one. Methods or KMCs. Nice wheels. I'm a freak for cars, man, to be honest. Trucks, JDM cars, stance cars, drift cars. I love it all, man. Trucks. Everything. Open house. Only if I could afford it. So we'll go ahead and willy up this. So this is the end of that trail that I was talking about, but that's where it ends. But it's actually quite some time, a lot of stairs, a lot of walking. fire station right there. Oh, I could have taken you guys to the skate park, but I kind of want to want to show you guys the view. I kind of what I what I mean of uh, you know small town. Um, as far as coming up, um, small town. So obviously, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you where I live, but if you're familiar with the area, you know, you're gonna you're gonna understand what I mean. And uh, you can see there's a lake in the middle, so it's kind of separated. You know, the whole, this is all Lake Elsinore, kind of like Tri City stuff, but you know. It's all Lake Elsinore, um, small towns all the way around. Like there's this side of town, there's that side of town, the right side of town. I don't really see a whole lot of strong people out here riding, but you know. There's a few kids out there. And the person that actually got me into surround riding, the guy's like 55, maybe 60. The first guy on the block to have a surround, and man, I, you don't know how bad I wanted one of those. 
I've had, you know, electric bikes, you know, pedal bikes, foldable bikes, but I just figured, you know, Surrounds were too expensive. Um, way too expensive for me to afford, and, uh, you know, I ended up buying the bullet and getting one, and it's probably the best thing I've ever done. You know, I've always liked dirt bike riding, so, um, this is even better, you know, you're not allowed, like, look how quiet it is right now. Imagine hearing a dirt bike going through here, two-stroke, four-stroke, you'd probably be the most annoying person coming up here. But like I said, I live on this side of town, uh, the left side of town, and then there's the right side, and then obviously that over there is like, you know, different side of town. There's a trail that goes actually through there. Uh, it's pretty fun to ride. I'll probably take you guys on there one day. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much that. Should we hit a wheelie on the way down? We're probably going to catch a lot of speed, but... All right, just nothing but break. Hit a little 12 o'clocker. Yeah, I don't trust these brakes to be honest. And we have a car behind us. I trust them on a flat road, but going this fast? Yeah, probably not. And I'll take you guys to the whole little skate park over here that we have. That's really pretty cool. So this is the skate park right here. I'm not too sure how good you could see it, but um, it's nice actually coming up this hill when there's a curb at the bottom, but when sand builds up down there, it's pretty nice. But this is the skate park right here. Let's go watch some people ride. It's actually pretty fun. Oh, that was nice. Not a whole lot of people, but you know, it gets busier as it goes. Um, actually, I don't know what they're doing over there. There's people on a booth. That's a beautiful truck right there, AT4 HD. Actually, there's actually a little nice little spot to hit, but I'm not going to hit it because I don't know who these people are. Let's go down the stairs. Be respectful. Oh, look, there's another guy on an e-bike. That's the, the e-bikes I was talking about, the foldable ones. But, you know. Alright, you guys. People and kids, you know, trying to stay out of their way. That's actually a nice little jump to hit on the way up. This one, dude, I, used to, I, I grew up here. You know, I used to be in Max, go to the skate park. It didn't look like that before. They actually had like those little, you know, hard plastic jumps and, you know, riding the BMX bike down, hitting jumps on the way out. It was nice. This is the park here. Um, baseball fields. Some Dougie. Oh, got a loose dog. Hopefully he doesn't chase us. Like a pit bull or something? Looks like he's trying to poop or something. He, he was crumping. More doggies. What is that? Another pibble? I don't know, but let's go say hi to our fellow, uh... Oh, he probably brought his dog on his bike. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, man. About to head home now. I think we'll close out the video and I mean if you guys like it I can go ahead and post some more. Or maybe it might not end. I'll probably just wait till this battery dies. I mean it has five hours of recording. <laughs> I'm not gonna record it for five hours, you know. Hit you guys with the little wheelie over here. This probably will close it out. Hope you guys liked the video. It wasn't too boring. Try to make it fun. Videos will improve.